it's Thursday morning on uh, September 6th. Uh, dreary, cold day. Um, just went through Dresden Lock and Dam. That went real good. I think we're getting a little better at it nicely. Uh, D did a real good job and uh, we passed one barge. So far so good today. Um, right now there's no traffic and everything's going pretty good. Here's a little view of the river. It's all hunkered down and the mast is still down. We're a little nervous about the train trestles, um, whether or not they're going to be normally open or normally closed. So once we completely sort that out, we'll raise the mast back up, regain our radar, and uh, that'll all be good. Right now we don't have navigation lights up on the mast. We just have our regular red, green, and aft navigation lights. So, All right, we'll uh, talk to you guys later. Upbound tow approaching mile marker 144. This is a southbound vessel. Would you uh, like me on the one or two whistle? All right, thanks, Captain. See you on the one. So you got to know two languages. Not just right and left. Obviously, in uh, navigation in the waterways, right and left doesn't mean anything. Uh, so you typically would use port and starboard. Here on the river system, you also got to know one whistle or two whistle. So uh, that captain said, uh, take me on the one whistle. That means we're going to pass port to port. And uh, it'd be like driving a car, I guess. Sometimes the captain will say uh, he wants you on a two whistle, which means you pass starboard to starboard. Kind of like you're passing on the wrong side of the road. So anyway, I learned something new every day. So this is the vessel we were hailing just a minute ago. Um, probably can't see the markers in the uh, picture here but I got a green can on my uh, starboard side I got a red can on my port side this tow is pushing 15 barges and he wants me on the one whistle so uh, it looks like he's leaving me a little bit of room here against this green can and that's how we're gonna take him Amazing how those uh, toes push those barges around. I don't even know how they do it. They must have a ton of horsepower. Pretty much the uh, biggest uh, waves you encounter here on the Mississippi. Actually, we're on the Illinois. Uh, that's the biggest waves you encounter on the Illinois is uh, the prop wash from the big toes pushing 15 barges. So upon entering Grafton, we uh, heard a bad clunk, um, starboard side engine room, and turns out that the uh, when I went in reverse, 
the shaft pulled apart from the coupling and uh, I'm not sure why there's some something going on there the bolts have been loosening up obviously for a day or two and it finally let loose right at the harbor um, but we were able to dock okay and uh, we'll uh, continue to investigate right now the plan is to pull the boat on Thursday morning uh, it appears we have a bent shaft and hopefully that's all um, so bend the shaft back reinstall it and uh, maybe we get on the road again Friday.